the mic. Sora just left to play his match, but I have the incomparable Dello joining me now. Hey, what's up, everybody? Dello on the mic. What's going on? Uh, I, I know we've got Spaz, but I don't know the other gentleman. Yeah, I don't know him either. Um, he's from, he, he was with the other group of guys, like Saki and all them. L let me get it. Hey, excuse me. What's your tag? Memory? Gotcha. So, we have Spaz coming up against Mem Memory? Memory, right? So, I believe so. Am I doing that wrong? Yeah, I, 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 I think it's an O instead of an E. Yeah, so I'm not familiar with Memory at all. I've never seen him play. I don't know anything about him, but we all know about Spaz here. Right. So, it looks like he's going Sheik first game. Uh, th th this might be a little bit out of line, but judging from his emerald green controller, he's been around the game for a while. I would I would assume so, and he's playing Cheek, um, obviously a high tier melee character. Yeah. So, I mean, like sounds like we've got a uh, me melee player on our hands. Yeah, no doubt, and like I know, like the the group of players that he's with, who I saw him like hanging out with before the event, are all memory, are are all melee players. Gotcha. So, I can only assume. I did do stop starting. Okay. Sure. Faster, are you in the building? <laughs> oh, the gut stage hype. Oh yeah, so you guys should be coming out to guts too. But anyway, let's let's get into it. Um Dead. All right, so I'm interested as to why Spaz went Squirtle here over Lucas uh, versus the Sheik. Yeah, you know, I feel like I feel like Lucas seriously has some major combo game on Sheik. Yeah. But I mean, he chose Squirtle, so we got to run with it. Right. And right now, this is pretty close. Yeah. Good recovery right there. He might get did not get punished for his off stage there. Wow, great little Squirtle tech from Spaz yeah, there, but yeah, I know. Sheik is going to be one of the better better characters at uh, avoiding stuff like that on the edge. Yeah. Miss spacing that bubble like just slightly. And I, I don't. Ooh. It's also nice. What was that? Down tilt to fair by Sheik. Seriously nice. Very, nice very air. close so far. Nice back air, and then nice air back air by Spaz, and he obviously gets out the sunglasses. Yep. The Spaz signature. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, um, Ooh! Wow, uh, it would have been so cool if he got that. It would have been a hard read. Ooh! Bubble the down smash. That was hype, but that, um, that upbeat was a... Was uh, ill ill advised, and she yeah. got the easy forward air out of it. Yeah, he didn't look. Yeah, Spaz didn't look happy about that. If you guys saw his no, he, fight cam. Yeah, he actually took a took a look at the commentator's table for a moment. Ooh, he checked right into that. Yep. And he got the sunglasses out. Wow. So nice back air off that. That was really pretty. Tremendous back air. Answers that so nicely. All right, so. I, at the beginning there, I'm sure Spaz was a little shocked because uh, memory doesn't come here often, and this is a very good game. But now Spaz has got well, a stock lead at least. And he oh is, my he goodness. is rolling. Yeah, obviously. He is rolling. Oh, memory answers back. Oh, but that's a tough edge guard. You can't just stand there. Obviously, uh, Spaz knows a lot more about Squirtle Sheik than you and I because he was just pulling off some crazy combos on Sheik right there. Yeah, I mean, like, but there aren't a lot of, like,. Squirtle, or really, honestly, Sheik players, as many around. Like, I don't right. know if you would agree with that. Absolutely. I mean, you'd be hard pressed to find any Sheik PM, and Squirtle, rare, but you see him occasionally. Yeah. So, oh, really nice off stage game right there by Spaz. Right. That's that's pretty much how he plays Squirtle. Is get him off stage, forward air, forward air, forward air. Yeah. And now that now he's up a stock. I mean, he's, he, Sheik got one stock left, so he's feeling really confident about this. Right. The wood grain texture on the stage is so nice. Shout out to Joe. Yeah, he made this look so nice. <gasps> oh, oh, if he got, if he, ooh, nice extra guard there by Sheik. Oh, nice, nice play there. By I'm Spaz. very surprised that, Squ that Squirtle's down smash came out first there. 
That's going to be the end of that. You know, the fr you know, the beginning of this game looked really tight. So it looked like it was going to be close. And I think memory let it slip away a bit. And I, But I think Spaz kind of came in with like, uh, hey, I'm going to walk over this kid at first, and then yes. he had to go all out. I agree. That that was my assessment as well. Yeah. Uh, when you know when you when you come to the weekly nearly every week and come in top eight and, and nearly every week like Spaz, you begin to think of a new name as probably a scrub. But uh, memory is obviously a very very good cheek. Yeah, I mean like I I feel like he's definitely not familiar with the matchup at all. Yeah. Like, like which like, lends to what we were talking about earlier that he's probably a, a melee player. 100%. Squirtle would definitely throw off any melee player. And I mean like let's be honest like. Sheik is so, like, just, she just is so watered down. You know what I mean? Just watered down. Meaning Not, PM Sheik? Yeah, yes. PM Sheik. Yes. yes. And, I, and, you know, I, uh, I'm i just theory crafting, and I don't know if, like, anyone would ever agree with me, but, like, I feel like the melee characters as a whole just don't stack up right now in this meta at the end. Mm -hmm. And I, I don't know if anyone would agree with that, but, like, the high tiers, as you see, are, like, generally brawl characters, except for, like, Mewtwo. Which I guess really isn't really a top tier melee character. Right, yeah. You know what I mean? Like, not even a brawl character, it's just, it's just character. Well. So, wow, we got a Ganondorf counter pick, and he went to Green Hill Zone. Now, this is a really good pick for him. The blast, the blast zones are so small. He's looking to get some early kills. Right. And really Squirt early. Squirtle's a great, a great weight and fall speed to do that, too. You can kill Squirtle very, very quickly. Low percent, I should say. Yeah. Uh, Spaz using that bubble to perfection there to push him down. Can, can oh. you not tech bubble? I'm not all too sure because I don't know the Squirtle matchup. Yeah. <laughs> That's my problem. I wonder if anyone in the stream knows if you can tech the bubble. Yeah, stream, let us know. Like We'd like to know that. Legitimate question. Because it, it appears as if you can't because Spaz always gets a down smash follow up out of it. Yeah. Oh my god, but look at all these down smashes and then the bubble beam after that. Get him off stage. Nice back air there. Spaz, I don't think I've ever seen Spaz keep his sunglasses on this Whoa! long. He kept it through the whole stock. Impressive. There, there they go. Oh, that oh. was a sty stylish moonwalk, though. If you're yeah, oh. that was some really, the, really stylish. And cannon. the bubble beam gimp. Oh, look at him. He's just stalling on the wall. Oh, Spaz getting perfectly spacing that. There's the first kill. There we go. Connects with the fair. Spaz throwing up those safe back airs as per usual, and there it is. <sighs> he did not mean to do that. I had to be an input error. Yes, you can tech out of it. So, huh? So you can tech out of the uh, bubble beam. 